Hello friends, welcome to Success Care 24. So guys, let's discuss today the most important topic of your geography. Geography is a very important topic hai, is your Indian river system. See guys, there are some of the major rivers of India that you have to go through and this is a very common topic for your competitive exams, be it SSC or banking or railways or the other state government exam. Har ek exam mein river system se ek do questions to for sure har saal aate hi hai. So that's why I have India ka map liya hai. Wahan pe main aapko locate kare dikhaungi which are the important rivers of India. But first of all, let us give a, you a brief discussion about the river system. See, in India na, we have two types of river system. So in India, we have two types of major river system. One is your Himalayan river system. Himalayan river system and another is your peninsular river system. Okay. Peninsular river system. Now the name suggests that Himalayan river system, North India, peninsular river system, South India. Okay. The locations are this Himalayan river system that origin is from the Himalayas majorly and peninsular river system. This is your peninsular India. Peninsular ka definition kya hai when the three sides of that land body is covered by water. We have our peninsular India in South India. Right. I hope you know this guys. So, here the rivers hote, these are called as peninsular rivers and the Himalayas originate, hote hai, they are called as Himalayan rivers, right? So, here the Himalayan rivers and peninsular rivers, there are some major major differences hai, that you should know before going into the name of the rivers, okay? Now, let's see the Himalayan rivers, mein kya hota hai? Himalayan rivers, mein na, jo, that water is perennial in nature, Matla, there will be water in that river throughout the year because ye origin kya hota hai? Himalayan glaciers, se hota hai, so glaciers melt, hote hai, then the river is sourced from the Himalayan glacier. So, throughout the year, us river mein pani hota hai. And peninsular river, jo hai, wo seasonal in nature hota hai. It means you can take example ke monsoon ke time mein us river mein pani hoga. Okay, monsoon nahi hoga, to waha pe flow nahi hoga. So, this is the definition of perennial river and non-perennial river. Second is your Himalayan river, jo hai, wo meandering bhoat karte hai. Meandering like this. This is the meandering of the rivers. But, jo ye hota hai, peninsular rivers hai, utna zada meandering nahi hota hai. Thikai? Abhi aga reason me basic hai, if you take example ya phir analysis karoge, to ye Himalaya se aate hai. So, Himalaya se aake aise aise meandering karke aate hai. But, yaha pe jo aap log dekhoge, peninsular rivers, ho utna zada meandering nahi karte hai. Plus, Himalayan rivers jo hai, wo majorly kya banate hai? Deltas banate hai. They make deltas and jo peninsular rivers hoote hai, wo kya banate hai? Estuaries banate hai. For example, yo Narmada, Tapi, these rivers makes estuaries. But, yes, the eastern Himalayan, uh, eastern peninsular river, they also make delta. Thik hai? This side of rivers are deltas banate, even in peninsular rivers but most of the Himalayan rivers they make deltas like for example the Sundarban delta here the Sundarban delta that is made by your this is your Ganga this is your Brahmaputra now we will see and locate karenge rivers don't worry just I have given you one overall understanding diya ke two types of river systems what is your what is Himalayan river system then peninsular river system now guys let's come into the major topic that is your important rivers of India okay so the first one is the most important is your Indus river system okay Indus river system see this is the origin of your Indus river system it originates from here near Mansarovar okay near Mansarovar it originates from here it flows towards your Ladakh wala region, then wahan se wo kidhar chala jata hai? Pakistan ke side mein chala jata hai. Aur iska jo major five tributaries, yahan pe ek place hai, Mithan Port. In Mithan Port, these tributaries of Indus, they meet in that place. Mithan Port is a place in Pakistan. Jahan pe aake Indus and its five tributaries meet. Ab paanch tributaries kya kya hai aapka? Indus to hai hi aapka, upar se kya hai? Jhelam, Chenab, Ravi, Biya, Satluj. Jhelam, Chena, Rabi, Biya, Satluj are the five major tributaries of Indus River. But Indus River ke aur bhi tributaries hai. Aisa nahi hai, sirf ye paanchi hai aur aur bhi hai jaysay aapka Shok, thik hai, Nubra, Khunza. These are also some of the tributaries of Indus River system, right? So, these are, ye itna important hai because yahaan pe se itna question nahi aata but this five major tributaries you have to understand Jhelum, Chena, Rabi, Biyas and Satlaj, okay? These are the five important tributaries of Indus and Indus mein ne bola ke originate kaha se hota hai maha, yahaan pe joh hai Mansarovar Lake near Tibet yahaan se originate hoke aise aapka idhar se jata hai idhar se jake Pakistan ke paas mein along with the five rivers they meet in a place called Mithankot, right? Now, 
Next important topic when I am talking about your Indus, there is a very popular treaty, Indus Water Treaty. Indus Water Treaty is a very popular treaty. It is related to your Indus, the river sharing between India and Pakistan. Okay, Indus and its five tributaries ka jo river sharing hai between India and Pakistan. There were a lot of disputes regarding the sharing of your Indus rivers and its tributaries. So that is why this Indus Water Treaty was signed in 1960. Or here, Presence pay this water treaty was signed. This is also very important for you. This is your World Bank. World Bank pay mediate kiya tha. It worked as a mediator and then in this water treaty was signed in 1960. Okay. Yaha pe kya hota hai? Agar aap in this hai, we have, we have Jhelum, we have Chenab, then Rabi, Bias and Satluj. Let's go divide kar lete hai, teen rivers mein. To make you proper understanding of this topic. So, Indus, Jhelum, Chenab, these are this rivers and west flowing river, these are east flowing river. Yahaan ka jo hai Ravi, Vyas, Satlas, this power, this authority to use, this is given to India under this Indus Water Treaty of 1960. And this western flowing river, Indus, Jhelum and Chenab, this authority is given to Pakistan. It means Pakistan can use the water of this tributaries okay yahan pe ek aur concept hai uh, you should know this ke yahan pe to pura jo hai authority pakistan ke paas diya gaya hai this rivers to be but yahan ka 20% 20% of this western flowing rivers na this can be used by india for irrigation purposes or for hydroelectric purposes but yahan pe condition hai ke India cannot deviate or divert kar sakta hai water ke flow. Hai? So, in this water treaty is important, in this river is important, that's five tributaries is important. Ravi, Biya, Satlish, then Jhelum, Chenab. Okay, five tributaries plus Indus. And Indus ke aas paas mein bohat important civilization our ancient history ka hai. That is your Indus Valley Civilization or Harappan Civilization. Okay, so uh, Indus Valley Civilization ko hum log Harappan Civilization ki bolte hai. That you have to answer this in the comment section guys. Okay, next important topic is your Ganga river system. Let's go through this Ganga river system. Okay, let's uh, do the source. So, Ganga origins from here. Okay, Gomu Gangotri glacier se origin hai. But us time Ganga ka naam Ganga nahi hota hai. It is named as Bhagirathi. It is named as Bhagirathi. So, Bhagirathi milta hai Alak Nanda ke saath mein. Alak Nanda ke saath milta hai Dev Prayag. We know that the five Prayags. Five Prayags are formed in the river Ganga. So, Bhagirati when meets Alak Nanda in Dev Prayag, then it becomes your Ganga river system. Okay? Ganga river system. And Ganga kaha se original hai? Yaha se Gangotri, Gaumuk. Thik hai? So, waha se original hai? Plain areas mein Haridwar se entry karte hai. Uske baad mein, yaha pe aise aate hai. Aur ye jab Alak Nanda se meet hoti hai, then only it becomes Ganga from there. And see, it flows like this and it flows like this into the Bay of Bengal. Okay, see, the thing is that most of the river flows into the Bay of Bengal. Okay, only some rivers are there that flows into Arabian Sea. Okay, but most of the rivers that flow into your Bay of Bengal. Okay, so, yahaan pe se flow ke aise aake, you know, it flows into the Bay of Bengal or Ganga ka naam, yahaan pe jab a jata hai, Bangladesh ke taraf, to Ganga ka naam kya ho jata hai, Padma. Ganga becomes Padma, ठीक है? और एक बात और मैं बोलूँगी जब ब्रह्मपुत्र हम लोग देखेंगे उसके बाद, ठीक है? क्योंकि गंगा इधर से इधर से ब्रह्मपुत्र ये दे forms the Sundarban Delta, world का सबसे largest delta है, ठीक है? और यहाँ पे एक important tributary हम लोग देखेंगे गंगा का, that is your Yamuna. See, Yamuna is the longest tributary of Ganga. It also originates and flows parallelly like this. See, this is your Yamuna and ये Yamnotri glacier से निकलता है, ठीक है? It flows parallel to the Ganga and this is the longest tributary of Ganga. Okay, now let's see your and yes, Ganga is the longest river, largest river, longest river of India. Okay, drainage basin is a lot of and in our India, mein, since Indus is a Indus ka thora sa part flows Pakistan, so only some tributaries are in India. So, largest or longest river of India, it is your Ganga river system. It is a holy river considered as a holy river in India. Next important river is your Brahmaputra. So, Brahmaputra originates from that same place near Mansarovar, Tibet. And there is a glacier named as Chema Yugdu Glacier. Thora sa naam aisa hai. Uh, but you have to remember this Chema Yugdu Glacier. And iska jo naam hota hai Tibet mein, it is known as Yarlung. Sorry, this is known as Yarlung Sampo. 
Yarlo Sangfo. This is your G. So it is known in Tibet as Yarlo Sangfo. Uske baad mein wo yahan se aake originate hoke. Ye jo Mansarovar is glacier se originate hoke. Yahan pe ek hai. Ek bahut important feature hai. This is your Namcha Barwa. Okay? See. Namcha Barwa. This is your Namcha Barwa. Yahan se ek dam hit karke ek U turn leti. So it's a blessing for us. See. Namcha Barwa is a blessing for us. Otherwise kya hota? Ye turn leke hamar India mein entry karta hi nahi. It won't have entered into India if Namcha Barwa was not there. So it hits Namcha Barwa mountain, the peak. Then it takes a U turn and enters into Arunachal Pradesh. Okay? Arunachal Pradesh when it enters there, then also it is not named as Brahmaputra. It is known as Dihang. Dihang or Siang, you can say Dihang or Siang. After then, from this area, it enters into Assam and then it becomes Brahmaputra. So, when it flows like this, Lohit joins uh, this Brahmaputra, then your Dibang joins, okay. Then it becomes Brahmaputra, okay. So, let's see once again how it is flowing towards India. It originates from here, Chema Yungnung Glacier. In some sources, na guys, you will find Angshi Glacier. So, if the option is Angshi Glacier also, then the option will be correct. Okay. Origins from here flows like this. Hits Namcha Burwa here. Namcha Burwa, after hitting Namcha Burwa, takes a U turn. Then it comes here, enters Arunachal Pradesh. Then it enters into Assam. Then it becomes Brahmaputra. Then from Dubri, it takes a southward direction. And it flows like this in this direction. Okay. So see what I was telling you. Ganga comes like this. And your Brahmaputra comes like this. So Brahmaputra. When it enters into Bangladesh. It becomes Jamuna. Then Ganga. What it becomes. It becomes Padma. When this both falls here and mixes. They becomes Meghna. Okay. These names are very important from your exam perspective. The questions uh, are like this. They used to ask like this, what is the name of Brahmaputra after entering Bangladesh? What is the name of Ganga after entering Bangladesh? So this is why these names are important for you guys. So these are major, major Himalayan rivers that I have discussed. Your Indus river system, your Ganga river system and your Brahmaputra river system. Now let's see some of the important peninsular rivers. Okay, Peninsular rivers are also equally important. Okay, so the first major is your Mahanadi river. See, it is the Mahanadi. Sometimes uh, they used to ask the chronology. Aapko chronology milana hai, north to south. If it's, sometimes it asks like south to north. Yehi hota hai, advantage to know the mapping. Okay, so mapping is very important for your exam perspective. So Mahanadi, this is your Godavari, this is your Krishna, this is your Kaveri. So north to south ka agar aapko pata, pata chal ke extension. You can locate the maps if the question comes like this. So this is your Mahanadi River. Yaha pe kya hai? The most popular, the most popular Hirakud Dam. Hirakud Dam, Odisha. Hirakud Dam hai Mahanadi River ke upar. Godavari, the longest peninsular river. And Godavari is also called as Dakshin Ganga. Dakshin Ganga. We call it Dakshin Ganga. Second largest river and the largest river of peninsular India. That's why we call it Dakshin Ganga, then your Krishna, then your Kaveri, then I have said this earlier, most of the rivers flow into your Bay of Bengal, but there are some important rivers that flow into your Arabian Sea, the two most important rivers, that is your Narmada and Tapi, this is your Narmada river, this is your Tapi river that flows into your Arabian Sea, okay, so these are two most eastern flowing rivers that drains into Arabian Sea, okay. There's an important river here, Luni River. Luni River actually disappears near your run of Kutch. Okay, now another important river, west flowing river is your Mahi. Mahi is a very important river, but I won't say that is why this is important because that you have to answer in the comment section, guys. Uh, why Mahi is important? It is related to some kind of topic of cancer. Topic of cancer is related here, and you guys will answer this question. Let's see once more the important rivers of uh, our India. Okay, so first river I have said that your Indus originates from this near Tibet, flows like this into Pakistan, drains into Arabian Sea. Okay, five tributaries, Jhelum, Chena, Ravi, Bias, Satluj. I have talked about your Indus Treaty, 1960. Okay, western flowing rivers, eastern flowing rivers. Okay, now your Brahmaputra, Brahmaputra originates from here, flows like this. Then here you have Namcha Barwa, hits like that and takes a U-turn and enters into India, okay. Then your Ganga river system origins from here, like this, from Haridwar in the plain area it enters, like this it comes here. So Brahmaputra from here, Ganga from here, so they drains into your Bay of Bengal. Then your Mahanadi, okay, then Godavari, then Krishna, 
Kaveri, Narmada and Tapi. These are some of the major rivers of India and I have explained you the difference between the peninsular rivers and Himalayan rivers. Perennial, non-perennial, okay. They meander a lot, they don't meander a lot. Lateral hota hai inka flow. Then this rivers, they mostly flow, forms estuaries and this river forms delta. Though western flowing rivers also, they form deltas and estuaries both. So guys, I hope uh, this river system or this video is helpful for you to locate the important rivers of India and uh, that's why I have uh, explained you with the help of maps so can, you can just uh, relate the topic and if you have mind map mein ye rakh liya ki, okay, this river originated from this and that so it is very helpful for you guys uh, to recall these things in the examination. So uh, that's all for Indian river system, the major rivers of India guys. I hope this is very helpful for you. And um, yes, success care ka jo hum logo ka special batch hai, SSC, Banking, Railway, CHSL or CGL or fir hum logo ka Assam ka jo important competitive exams hai for a, example ADRE 2.0 or DME or Assam Police etc. For uska jo special batch hai, it will start from 22 March, 22nd March se uh, hum logo ka batch start ho raha hai and uh, if you want to enroll in our course or any query you have, you can directly contact into this number. We are always here for you to address your calls or to address your inquiries. So uh, this batch, 22nd March online, offline, dono mode mein hi start hoga. You can enroll from anywhere, uh, wherever you want. And uh, we will be providing your daily classes, daily class notes plus MCQs plus your current affairs notes and of course daily life classes will be there and if you miss hota hai, then you can also take the recorded classes okay so uh, that's all for you guys uh, and thank you thank you very much